Welcome to the Icelandic Perspective at the Reykjavik Grapevine. I'm Bjartmar Alessandsson. And my name is Valur Grattisson. And today we're going to talk about British politics. And it seems that the only insane politics left in the world is actually in Britain right now, at least well, in the Western world. In the Western world, yeah, yes, sure. <laughs> There's plenty of other insane incidents yeah. in, in other parliaments, but we're going to talk about what's happening actually in Britain, the scandals, the crazy apartment building yeah. refurbishment. Flatgate. The, the Flatgate, flat gate. that yeah. could be, or apartment gate, or yeah, yeah, whatever, right. it depends on where in the world you are. And, um, well, rather, you actually went a little bit through this. Mm-hmm. What, what was the main scandal in this regarding the, the, the flat or the apartment for the American users? Well, like, of course, a lot of our viewers are Americans yes. and, and they have had like a quite the four years, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> we could say that. Four, actually, a little bit five because yeah. of the um, everything before the elections yeah. and then after the elections a little bit. So it's about five and a half years, I would say, of insanity. So if you if you think like American politics are wild, like, then welcome to the British politics. We're, yes. gonna, we're here at the Irish Man Pub. Uh, we, we went here for a reason because we, we like the Irish people yes. and we think it's gonna like uh, hopefully offend some Brits with what's this while we're playing Daft in an Irish pub uh, talking about the mass uh, the mass in uh, British politics. Yes, and um, Valor actually does not really is not good at that, so <laughs> it was my location. <laughs> so it's really good to see him a little bit hum- being humiliated in this area. It's actually quite shocking. We we, was, we were playing Daft just before we started recording, and and I did not know that Bjarta was this good. So let's try it out. Uh, yeah. On to it. Yeah. I'm going to start the throwing. Yeah. Uh, and I. And I'm going to ask you a little bit about the flat gate or the apartment gate. Okay. So, what, how much money was spent? So, uh, just to begin with this, yeah. it, it's absolutely incredible when, when you think about it. Mm-hmm. This is good. The thing is, Boris Johnson, of course, had an uh, assistant. Mm-hmm. Uh, like a, and it was basically the most, like, like uh, what would you say? Powerful man in in, in the in the UK yeah, his politics. Advice, sir. You, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, right. Whoops. Yeah, that was a good shot. <laughs> Excellent. So I got. Wait, what did I get? This is uh, th- two times, three times. Three times. Okay, thirty, uh, forty-three, right? Yeah. Great math. Great math. Let's just go with it. Yeah. So. Again with the assistant. The assistant is, of course, Dominic Cummings. Mm-hmm. And Dominic Cummings is one of my favorite, like, uh, villains, if you will, in the British politics. He's like he, a real British Bond villain. Yeah, he yeah. is, kind of. Like, uh, and the thing about this guy, he is, if, for example, you have HBO, he, they, they made a movie about this guy called Brexit. He is the key architect to the Brexit fiasco, more or less. Uh, he was the, he and Michael Gow and, and more, um, many other key players were there. And it's, it's interesting that, of course, he is brilliant in what he does. Mm-hmm. So uh, he, of course, won Brexit. Uh, yeah. and, 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 uh, and He's the architect behind Brexit. Yes, he is. It, it, it's Without like, it, it, like uh, Steve Miller with the, with the uh, American version of the... Uh, uh, <laughs> what? what was that? Can you calculate this? Or? Uh, I'll try. Uh, uh, 18, right? 18. Yeah. It's 19. Is it 19? Come on. 14 and 4 <laughs> is 18, Valur. Fine. No wonder the economics in Iceland are horrible. Well, okay. So, what matters here, basically, yeah. is that Dominic Cummings was, of course, uh, his chief advisor, yeah. uh, and he was brilliant at it, and Boris Johnson, of course, was a key player also in Brexit. And this is how these guys met. Uh, a wonderful moment for the UK his- history when, when these guys met. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, uh, last uh, la- like uh, end of last year, there was a power struggle within the Downing Street Ten, yeah. and it ended up that uh, Dominic he uh, lost and he was literally just kicked out. Yeah. Uh, so, but the thing is, uh, like they say actually in the British media, this guy is like seriously vindictive, like seriously vindictive. He like has some like, issues, apparently. Like, like a good Bond villain, yeah. he, he basically didn't go out uh, without a fight. Okay. Uh, and obviously, uh, what happened later this year, like in April, mm-hmm. uh, oh, what is this? 13. 
This video is going to be like an hour long if you continue. Now we've mute 19, right? Sorry? It's 1, 4, and 13. And you still get 19. What is it? 13 plus 4 plus 1 is not 19. What is it? Valus, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> Seriously, 13 plus 4 plus 1. Is it like one. that, 18? Yes. Congratulations. I'm trying to cheat on you here. You're obviously better than I am in this. Oh, so, you were saying before you failed at math. So, uh, I'm better in political science than actually math. Yeah, that, that's apparently, that, that wouldn't be hard. So what I'm saying is that uh, <sighs> this guy, he actually went out uh, and we didn't hear from Dominic coming for months. Okay. But then, I, then, all of a sudden, in news, there were news about that, uh, the, about a dramatic meeting last year, where mm -hmm. Boris Johnson, in this meeting, he was, uh, he was basically uh, accused of uh, saying that uh, with a COVID response, uh, nine plus four, is yeah. that nineteen again? Or? Nineteen. Nineteen. I'm happy with that. You, no. No. What? Valor, what nobody's is it? happy with nine plus four. It's nineteen. What was it? It's thirteen. <laughs> Valor, no. Oh. What happens then is that uh, Boris Johnson was accused of saying uh, in the, the COVID relief, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, that uh, he would, uh, like in the beginning, they were talking about lockdown, lockdown, mm -hmm. and th this was like in the end of uh, uh, the end of the summer or somewhere around that. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, uh, <laughs> the thing is, he was supposed to say in this very uh, inflammatory meeting uh, that uh, uh, what is it, thirteen? There. He was supposed to have said mm -hmm. that he would rather see the, the, uh, the bodies piling up than go for a lockdown. Yeah. And this was, of course, very, very sensitive because there are thousands of British that have, of course, died from COVID. Exactly. Uh, so what's more, after this, uh, other media reported that he did this ridiculous thing with his apartment at Downing Street 10. Yeah. It's like, uh, the Prime Minister there, he lives like in a, there's Downing Street, Downing Street 10, and they live in the next flat. Like, yeah, next uh, to, uh, it's the resident of the right. Prime Minister. Exactly. And the government actually, they say that, like, of course, when you're a Prime Minister, you're allowed to, I mean, you're going to live there at least for four years, mm -hmm. you're allowed to have some money allowance to change your apartment. Mm -hmm. And this is £30,000 that they get, actually, to do this. Mm -hmm. With this... While they are Prime Minister. It's for yeah, the whole yeah, period. Yeah. It's not a year. For thing. the whole period. <laughs> So, shit. Uh, so, so, for what, we, what he did actually mm -hmm. is that instead of uh, taking these modest 30,000 pounds mm -hmm. uh, and change the apartment, mm -hmm. he, they have said that he re refurbished this apartment for 200,000 pounds. But the, the question is basically this. Yeah. How much you suck at this game, or is the question other question? Well, yeah. I really suck at this game, do I? Yes, you do. I, all, I only mm. beat one. Anyway, yeah. uh, but the thing is, of course, that what, what happened basically is that uh, 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 there is no problem if he would have done this for his own money. Mm -hmm. Nobody would have said anything. No, no, of course not. But and he has well, money, actually. Well, may, might be, but yeah. it doesn't seem so. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, the question now is that did he actually get this money for Tory donors? Mm -hmm. And the Tory is basically another word for the like the, the, the Conservative the Party. The Conservative Party. They're called Tories. And, and the, the yeah the yeah. one the members. Oh shit. The one that do the uh, the doning the donation. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! Wait, is it again thirteen mm -hmm. or? So he hasn't answered this question uh, yeah. because. Uh, uh, for many reasons, because it's probably true that he got this money from the, from the donors. Uh, but what's shocking with this is basically that uh, Dominic Cummings is supposed to have sat in the same meeting that this was basically uh, uh, like uh, unethical and possibly illegal also. Yeah. And it is actually possibly illegal. And one other thing that is like in, in, in play here is that, mm -hmm. uh, of course, uh, he, Boris Johnson was asked, asked about this at the parliament. Yeah. And there are perhaps, uh, there are indications that they could have lied this. Yes. And he, if you lie at the British parliament, then, I mean... That could have implications. That can have serious implications. But the thing is, Boris, of course, is, uh, of course, uh, 
like Donald Trump, like he can't be hurt somehow. It's like he has like this Teflon. Almost. He has a Teflon skin. That's it's correct. Teflon skin almost. Yeah, right. Can you calculate? Oh, is it? Forty-two. No. Yeah. No. Well, four hundred thirty-two. Well. <laughs> Thirty-two. So of course, uh, Boris is of course in, in kind of a trouble because of this. But the most serious problems about this is actually that. Uh, that uh, there is an inquiry because of like the COVID, uh, how the, the government actually was dealing with the COVID, yeah. and was uh, like most uh, like perhaps damaging there. Mm -hmm. And this is again like of course uh, perhaps Dominic Cummings. Yeah, is that in the same meeting they were saying that uh, like uh, boys didn't quite understand what they were heading for in March mm -hmm. uh, in 2020 when yeah. this was all starting. Yeah. and he wanted to go the Swedish way. Yeah. like the herd immunity mm -hmm. way. Just they, get they, people they, with COVID and let the yeah, sick die. And the, the asteroid way, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it turns out. Yeah, <laughs> like or the like the, the Nazi version of, of COVID. A little bit. Yeah. Just, just the like just kill the, the week, kill the week, and, and yeah. uh, let the rest live. Uh, so what happened basically is that it took a long time actually to convince Boris that this was not good for the, the NHS, no. which is the hospital system, the healthcare system in, 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 in the UK. Uh, and uh, of course, he, he reluctantly said, like, fine, let's go for the, these uh, uh, lockdowns, yeah. which of course have been very damaging for everyone, uh, like we all know very well. Uh, so. Uh, what is this? Three plus seven plus, what is it? T fifth of 25. Why? You hit 15? Yeah, you hit 15. Okay. 25, you say? OK. So this yeah. inquiry is actually uh, going to go on now in the end of uh, May, 26th of May. Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is, there is a dramatic point in this whole, whole thing, because Boris Johnson did something which is like I've never heard before, basically, is that when these news started to leak out in the end of April, mm -hmm. he actually contacted the Sun, Sunday Times, more me and other media in, in the UK, the, mm -hmm. the British press, mm -hmm. the prime minister himself. And he actually told them explicitly that the guy that was leaking this information was Dominic Cummings. Yeah, so he, he gave up the, in the informant. He outed Dominic Cummings, which mm -hmm. responded with a blog post, and he said, like, this is not completely true, and so on. But the thing is, like, uh, it, like Boris Johnson is obviously not a very like a tactical person when mm. it comes to anything. Mm. He, he just runs ahead and see where he lands. Yeah. When when Dominic Cummings is obviously a man that uh, likes his chess very much, yeah. he plays m more than two or three games ahead. I mean, he is the real so, Bond villain, so he actually schemes things up. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what what could be damaging here is that in 26th of May, mm -hmm. then Dominic Cummings is going to talk to this inquiry committee or mm -hmm. whatever this inside could be. the parliament. Yeah, yeah. Right. And he is going to give them some information about the response of Boris Johnson and how he was mm -hmm. actually dealing with this. Mm -hmm. So it could be very, very uh, damaging in so many ways. So this is like a, this is of course like a, like a plot in some movie, if yeah. you think about it. Yeah. It's a very good movie because the yeah. Brexit movie wasn't actually that good. It no, was, it actually but, sucked, but it, and, and it's still sucking at the moment. I mean, it was, I mean, the movie itself was, was fine, but uh, I mean, it is what it is. So, uh, but the politics, of course, uh, in the UK are uh, kind of a mess because of, like, uh, 33. Throughout, throughout, throughout the, yeah. Because of Brexit, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, and of course COVID, mm -hmm. and there, there was elections in, in Scotland, right? Yeah. Where uh, SNP, they won, like, what? Almost the majority. They only needed one more seat one for one more. complete majority. Yeah. And that actually really is fucking up Boris Johnson's Conservative Party in England. And with that, they can actually make a referendum that, what, team, to get in, gain independence again. And with the attitude of, towards Brexit, I think it's 17. Yeah. Oh, OK. We're, you got 23, not 33. Okay, I'll win this. Um, are they actually they're going to fight for independence again? And I think. But do you think it's going to happen? I mean. Well, yeah. The, the, I mean, the, the, the polls always show 50-50 when it comes to. Well, we are in a different time because actually now people are seeing more of the, you know, the damage that actually is happening. Oh, it was a good shot now, was that? Three times 17. That was yeah. You know. 
What is it? 30. Oh, 40. Sh for fuck's sake. What is it? I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna put 60 here. No. It's, it's, it's not. It's not, it's not 60. <laughs> There's all with it. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I, know, I, think, I think this guy is going to get in. They're going to uh, uh, go out in the polls. I know you said they show 50 50, but I think because of the extended damage that Brexit had created for the, uh, for the, actually, for the British economy, which actually a lot of it was just put on COVID. I All think right. that's wrong. I think it's actually a little bit damaged by the Brexit thing. So I think the Scottish people are going to see this and more people are seeing the damage because they were actually lied to that more money would come to the NHS, right. the big bus thing. Thanks to Dominic Cummings, they exactly. have nothing to, <laughs> to exactly. make this right. So, so what, what we're seeing here is that I think people will wake up and see, hey, listen, guys, this is not the direction we're going. And I think that the Scottish people, they want to be closer to the neighbours in the north and even the west in Ireland and the Scandinavian countries. They, mm -hmm. And I think they look more that they could do, do these things better themselves. I mean, Scotland has been fighting for independence in, for hundreds and hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. So I think this could actually, with everything that's going on in the English or British Parliament and how the Scottish nationalists are gaining a huge ground. Mm. I mean, Labour is losing, Conservatives mm. right. are losing. And, and I think they will actually create an independent Scotland in the next few years. Mm -hmm. And, well, that's going to be a tough job for the Conservatives. And now, yeah, that, that might be true. In the next I, elections. I, I think we have to wait a little bit until uh, we see uh, Scotland being free, right. finally. Yeah. Uh, but. Uh, I think this could be more than one referendum, actually. This is way too tight right now. And I also think that Nicola Sturgis uh, would not go into uh, like an a independent vote uh, referendum unless he was absolutely sure that they would actually win that. Uh, so right now, this is way, it's, it's so indecisive that I, I, I don't, I'm not sure if it's even smart to go into it at all. And, what, what alone, like, just try to do it with, like, 50 or 52 uh, percent win? Mm -hmm. I mean, what does that mean? Yeah, it, it means the same as Brexit. Yeah, but it's like the rift. Nobody, no country in the world has any more, like, they, they can't do the rift within the society. Well, they They're already similar. have a rift because yeah, of Brexit. But you so, I mean, it... it, it not Scotland. They don't want to be, make it worse. Well, well, they are, they see it go, it's going to get worse with Brexit, uh, that their yeah. economy is getting hurt getting out, outside the EU. I mean, for example, the, the, the Scottish universities are losing millions of pounds in grants from the European Union. Mm -hmm. and, and this is something which young people in the university, both in Edinburgh and Glasgow, mm -hmm. are feeling. Yeah, yeah, you know, right. these schools are feeling, feeling the hit, and the small uh, uh, towns in, 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 in the countryside of Scotland, mm -hmm. they, were, they were getting these grants from the European Union. They're not getting it anymore. They're not getting them from... From, from Britain anymore even. Mm -hmm. So I think we're gonna see, the, because the effects of Brexit are, are hitting them in small pieces, that you see more and more people that voted against independence are, or, and also voted against, uh, are voted for Brexit in Scotland. Uh, that group is gonna move to the other side. They're gonna show that, shit, if we would have been independent, uh, we would have our own referendum on Brexit, mm -hmm. and we would not have left the EU. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something that is actually rising. Mm -hmm. And I mean, for the COVID situation also, the UK did not do well. No, no. I mean, they were the first that, this vaccines, is, that's right. true, yeah, they, but... That's the, the big win was obviously there. Yeah. Uh, Boris Johnson is, has literally said that, like, when this inquiry will go over the COVID situation how, yeah. and, the, and the response from the government, they will specifically look at how well they did when it came to the vaccine in, in itself. I mean, he will focus on the vaccine Exactly, only. for obvious reasons. Yes, because, because they, they fucked up in the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. And, I mean, they did not well, and it's obvious that uh, there were more rift within the politicians Mm -hmm. uh, about what what way to go. Mm -hmm. And I remember in March, this was actually, man, people were talking about this quite seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, there are a few ways to, to deal with this. And I don't blame Boris for, for thinking about this in, like, 15th of March. Mm -hmm. But thinking about this, like, in 25th of April, it's insane. 
And like yes. when you saw like how how everything was evolving. Well, and how especially... effective the virus was. Yeah. How many were actually going to hospital because yeah. of that? And the NHS healthcare system exactly. it just yeah. it, it actually just yeah. almost collapsed. And this is, of course, at the same time that they were looking at the, the emergency state, state of emergency in yeah. Spain, for yeah. example, and Italy. Yeah, and yeah especially like, in Italy. Yes. So, so I mean, it was it was absolutely insane to like think that herd immunity would be a smart move yeah. in, in any reality at, at all. that time. <laughs> I mean, so, there is a difference there. You know, definitely. But the thing is that, of course, uh, it's not only the conservatives that are in trouble. I mean, no. and they, they we feel like the conservatives are actually not that much in trouble compared to the to the Labour Party. The Labour Party is just it's a, it's a, it's a mess. Bleeding. It's it's a mess. It's an open wound, and that and that I think is that the support for the Labour Party, not the you know it's not high, mm -hmm. means that Boris Johnson. 19, actually, yeah. It means that Boris Johnson actually don't have a real opponent in the parliament anymore. Yeah, right. You know I mean, it's all scattered around groups. Well, they have this. Uh, it's, it's quite charming, this new chairman of the of the party. This well, Kier Starling yeah, or whatever his yeah, name yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. exactly whatever name is. Yeah, yeah. Nobody he, knows the guy. That's, that's the problem. Yeah. Exactly. I mean... Corbyn, Corbyn was perhaps not the ideal leader, no. but the whole world knew who the man was, at least. Yeah, he was a little bit controversial, we could say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, mean, I mean, you have to be one of the politicians, of course. Yeah. But the thing is, he, there was actually uh, this really interesting news about Hartlepool. Uh, yeah, yeah the, the, the results in the uh, local municipality. Yeah. Uh, election. I don't know if I, I'm not saying this right. It's like Hartlepool. Hartlepool. Well, how get, how get, is this done? We're going to get shit, shit on YouTube. Ha, how, do you say, how do you say this name? Hartlepool. Yeah, please write it in the comments. Yeah, that's the, that's the town, right? Hartlepool. Hartlepool. Ha, yeah, we, yeah, we have a British, British advisor here to help us, of course. And he's crying. <laughs> yes. at the, at the he moment. came here before Brexit, by the way, he, and yeah. he, he's one of the lucky ones. Yeah, he escaped. Uh, but he's crying because of your dark yeah. games. So, uh, so I, I just explained, like, what, what's with this town? This have been called, like, I wouldn't say the long of uh, the Conservative Party, yeah. but you know that when you're, when you're there, mm -hmm. uh, like when the Conservative, Conservative Party is doing badly there, mm -hmm. then something serious is wrong. Yeah. And they, are, they, have, they lost there for the first time, like, I don't know, for how long? Well, Labour and, also lost a, a huge yeah, amount the Labour, of I'm votes. talking about the Labour Party here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and you said Conservative, so let's get that yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, sorry. yeah. Labour. And, and the thing is that uh, they, they lost oh, yeah. it. And the, the, the drama is evolving about this hospital that they completely ruined. Yeah. Uh, and like the, the British the people love their NHS. And the healthcare system around there is like, it's similar to what we were doing in Iceland. They're like, yeah. because it's so ineffective like, to have a hospital like in, in I don't know, like say this or whatever. Oh, in the countryside here, yeah, in the Ostfjord. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But so. Uh, so, so we have similar problems here. But mm -hmm. they took a, a completely functional hospital that, right. that everybody was fine with, and they kind of ruined it. So yeah. now the people there in the, this small town have to drive like kilometers, uh, like several, several kilometers, just to get uh, healthcare service. Whatever. Yeah. No, I mean it's it's it's. It's strange to see where the, the, the politics are actually moving in the UK. It's, it's, you don't actually know that's the problem. It's, it's, it's the, the, the two bad choices, the, which were always the only choices, which yeah. were Conservative and Labour. Yeah, right. It seems that they are just leaking mm -hmm. support. Yeah, right. You know, everywhere. Scandals in the Conservative. Mm -hmm. And I would say, you know, the problem with the Labour is actually the leaders. Yeah, they haven't definitely. picked a good lead. Right. And, and they've always been trying to run around and just find somebody to do the job instead of actually looking for a good and candidate. To be fair, I mean, Boris is some kind of a political star, if you if you Yeah, will. that's true. But I mean, he's not the star that anybody asked for. No. <laughs> I mean, you know, he was a laughing stock when he was a mayor of London. Yeah, but, I mean, that, you know, but in a way, this is the reason that he like, has this Teflon skin. Yeah, this is the because he can make a joke out of everything. A, and, a, a you man know. that has been in like in a zip line like an idiot, like, yep, like, like, like this, like yeah. just going like into his destiny somehow. Basically buffoon. Yeah, I mean, 
How, how can it damage such a person? I mean, it isn't. You can't. He already I mean, done the damage, and people won't respect him regarding that issue. So, but it could be. I mean, I don't know. Like Dominic Cummings seems like a dangerous enemy that he has. Yes, uh, he's going to have problem with him. The, he's a vengeful. That's um, the thing. I mean. People on the other side are actually looking to him to actually hurt the prime minister. Yeah. So this actually could be uh, quite a good scandal in the in the British uh, Parliament. But also, what we have to think about is that dif different from other media's, the mm. British have this tabloid media's. So it's going to hurt him even more. Yeah. That, exactly. Well, what are you doing? It's thirsty. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just to be on point here, I mean, the, the situation is that this, this odd uh, battle between the Prime Minister of the UK and his uh, advisor is at boiling point. Yeah. This could get quite worse, and I think, it would, it, I think this is a personal thing. I mean, it, it's not going to hurt the Conservative Party, perhaps, uh, that No, fast, no. But it will definitely hurt him as a politician. It's going to hurt Boris. Yeah, that, that's, that's the thing. what it was going to do. Yeah. It's, it's, it's and it's often with the populist characters. Like yeah. they take the hit when the when the hit comes, mm -hmm. but they also take the glory when the glory comes. You know? Of course, but so, it, it all depends also if Boris is actually going to be the leader of the Conservatives in the future. Uh, you know what I mean? But I, I mean, I haven't actually been looking that like much into it. But I, I don't see any other star coming up there. I mean, there are of course. Well, some. people said that about John May Major, so you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, some people are more effective than others, yeah. I guess. That was a good one. That was a very good one, yes. So last here, since we... Told... Can you calculate this? Yeah, what is this, 50? Or... Yeah, it's okay. 50. 50, 62, yeah. and 3 times 6 is 18. Yeah. 62, 72, uh, 72... Oh my God. Uh, 80. Sorry? It's 80. It's 80? Yes. You, you're completely sure? No. No, good. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> you're going to win this round. Oh, damn it. It's in the way. Uh, so you won that round, but the last round, it equals to 11 to 5. Mm. So what I'm going to do now, we have, to, we have to throw here for the, the Scotland, Scotland, Scottish like, uh, independence. Independence, okay. So if you get a, a higher score, they're yeah. not going to gain independence in the future. If yeah. I get a higher score, they're going to get it. The thing is, it's 50-50. No way to see how it will go. Well, uh, again, you're uh, bad at calculations because it's not 50-50 when I won 11 rounds to you, 5. I'm, I'm talking about the Scottish, uh, like, obviously... The, the, yeah, but the again, referendum. with just calculations, <laughs> just don't stick to numbers. Just have, say you have a feeling. So, the thing is that uh, uh, I, I think, actually, that, uh, like, it's insane to be against being uh, uh, independent. Mm -hmm. It's always hard to become independent as a country. Really? That, that's, that's obvious. I mean, of course... Was it was uh, difficult for us. We just wrote a letter to the King of Denmark while he was occupied by Hitler and said, hey, Thanks for the past 600 years, we take it from here. I mean, yeah, we had a nice moment. Yeah. So let's, let's they could have also a nice moment. Boris Johnson is in the parliament. They say, hey, Boris, thanks yeah. for everything. We're going on our own. So and we, we don't want to build more, uh, you know, stupid refurbishment apartments with our money. <laughs> so this is, this is for Scotland. Hey, 20, what are you going to do? I can't Scotland, of course. No, it's only one. Yeah. You're not going to throw every, everyone? No, the higher number will win. So, 50 50. 50 50. 20. It's again 20. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so, there is no answers here today. <laughs> no. The dartboard did not show us who were going to win the <laughs> elections the independent movement or the stay movement. Well, so, uh, thank you for joining us here today. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and, and please comment, especially on, on Wahler's mathematical problems. And please send us some websites that actually can help him out here. <laughs> we will maybe create a, a, a GoFundMe page <laughs> for uh, the education of Wahler. And please make your donations as much as you can because we need your help.